So, <clears throat> I'm here in uh, Central Park. Nice and warm. Shorts on, as always. And uh, I was thinking about the absurdity of life. If you had to explain it to somebody, it would be ridiculous. Let's break this down. So, you're born. At around four or five years old, you go into a school. You're taught by adults to read, write. Things that you'll need in your life. Do your math. That makes sense. But the process of being taught and how to sit and when to speak and never to answer back and not to question, just believe it, is insane. And let's take this a step further. You get a bit older, you're still in school and you're learning stuff that may be completely useful or completely useless in life. I don't think I've ever used algebra, ever. And then what we are led to believe is we should go to further education, which makes sense, I suppose, if you need those, you know, see if you're gonna be an attorney, if you're gonna be a doctor, something like that, it makes sense. But the other week I heard about a, a guy 50 years old having to go back to college to get a degree so he could be a security guard. I mean, what's that all about? So <clears throat> you get the chance to learn at school and then you get the chance to pay to learn more. And what we're led to believe is that piece of paper that you paid for will get you a job that enables you to work till you're 65 years old. And at 75, you're dead. So basically, you have spent all your life slaving. This is modern day slavery. Who determines that life should be nine to five? Who determines it should be Monday to Friday? Who determines that there should be a minimum wage or not? Who determines what you're worth? Well, you know what? You do. However, not everyone's aware of that. There's a massive shift going on around the planet with humanity at the moment. And those that are awake are aware. Those that are awake are aware. If you think you understand that statement, you absolutely do not. It's not a thought process. It's a feel process. Who determines? You do. It's all up to you. This person here decided to take her life and do something with it. What are you doing? So what can we do about this? What can you do today? You know what you can do today? You can go buy a book on self-development. To develop yourself more. There's loads of them. If you're not sure, inbox me. Find me on Skype, the real Tony Cohen, and just feel into this. Are you going to work till you're 65 years old with someone else controlling your life totally, or are you going to do something about it? We taught all this stuff. The people that go to business school to learn business, in my mind, are the biggest idiots of all. They're being taught business by people that have never had a business. They're being taught business by teachers. So invest in yourself, go and buy a book. Go and buy a book, go do something today. Go buy a book, sit down and read in peace. Go to the park, whatever. Sit down and read in peace, go hang out. Gotta be something like this near where you are. Go to the beach, go buy a book. Go buy a book, do something. Because tomorrow, it's Monday. And those that have the Monday jobs will be feeling the Monday blues again. But we're so indoctrinated by others, that when some people here invest in yourself, go buy a book, invest in yourself, or some people that want to get in business with you say, do I have to invest something? Well, yes. If you want a lifetime's worth of people's experience, you've got to invest something. And they look at me like I'm just shit in the cornflakes. Invest in yourself, go buy a book. Guys, beautiful day in Central Park. You two could be here. No one can tell you otherwise. Have a great one.